In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for copper to sulfate plus sodium phosphate. So the first thing we need to do when we're balancing the net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. So this here is the molecular equation and the coefficients are three, two, one, three. And if you need help balancing the molecular equation, there's a link in the description for this video. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So copper sulfate, sulfates in general are soluble. So we're going to write a little AQ there. That AQ means aqueous. It'll dissolve in water. It'll dissociate apart into its ions. Sodium compounds, also very soluble. It'll AQ. That'll be aqueous. Then phosphate compounds in general, unless they have group one, like sodium or potassium or the ammonium ion even, these are going to be insoluble. So most phosphates are insoluble and copper to phosphate, that's insoluble. So we write S, it's a solid. When these two compounds react, we'll get this solid here and it's a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. Sodium compounds, very soluble, aqueous. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes apart into the ions and that'll be the complete ionic equation. Sometimes they call that the total ionic equation. So sulfate ion, always two minus. That means the copper is two plus. That's why we're calling it copper two. So we have three copper two plus ions and I'll wait and write aqueous at the end plus three sulfate ions. And then sodium is in group one has a one plus charge. This phosphate ion that'll always be three minus. So I have two times three. I have six sodium ions. And then I have two of the phosphate ions. And this will be the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, when we have a solid, we don't split that up. So our reactants will have copper two phosphate here. And that'll be a solid. It won't split apart. Plus, we said we had a plus and a two minus. So three times two, six sodium ions, and then three sulfate ions. So this is the complete ionic equation, and we can now cross out spectator ions. They are ions that are on both sides of the equation. They are the same. They haven't changed, so we just cross them out. Here we have six sodium ions in the reactants and six sodium ions in the products. We just cross those out. We have three sulfate ions, three sulfate ions. Cross them out. What remains, this is the net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus Na3 PO4. I'll clean this up and add the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the net ionic equation for copper two sulfate plus sodium phosphate. We have the same number of each type of atom on both sides, so that's balanced, and then the charge all balances out for this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for copper two sulfate and sodium phosphate. Thanks for watching.